Hello everybody, Taylor from Mountain Made Fitness Collective. Today I'm going to take you through our overhead lunge. So in this kettlebell series we're just going through all of the movements that we can do with the kettlebell and just some fine points on technique. Now with the lunge you really want to focus on that the technique of the original lunge does not change for the movement that you're adding to it. So let's say it's a front rack position, the lunge should look the same. Let's say it's an overhead position, the lunge should look the same. Okay, so things about points of performance for that lunge. We're thinking about the front shin should be vertical and the back knee should be directly beneath your hips. Okay, if it's not, you need to shift yourself accordingly. Okay, and then back through. So just the normal lunge, if I was just going to step back through and then other sides, nothing should change when I add the weight. Now, let's go for the overhead lunge. So, I'm going to put this up above. What I want to think about is where am I placing this arm? Okay, because the further out I go this way, the harder it is. The further out I go this way, and the same with back. Where I really want to place it is directly above my shoulder, so I make it structural. I'm having to use less muscle to engage to hold this, but the muscle I am using is being helped by my structure as well. So I want to think it's going straight down shoulder, hips, and then above that knee, which is gonna be on the ground. Now, one thing we say is we often say, sort of thinking about um, bicep to ear. Now it's not ear to bicep. There's often people, oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm, I'm there. No, I want you to be ear to bicep and then thinking about keeping that shoulder nice and close. So from this overhead position, we can either clean up to the shoulder, dip and drive, and then we're above. And then again, so here I am, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step forward my left leg, and nothing should change through the movement. And then the same thing on the other side. And if I take it to the side here, I'm gonna go forward with that left. I'm trying to keep my eyes nice and up. If I look down, my chest will come down, which will bring me down, okay? And then through, nice. Now this should be, exactly the same on the left side. Now, the great thing about kettlebells and dumbbells is I'm not holding a barbell, which means that this side can help this side out. It's all on its own. So if I have any muscular imbalances or sort of uh, restrictions due to uh, mobility, I'm gonna know about it when I go to my other side. So remember, you might feel that one side is harder than the other. That's okay, that's totally natural. Just make sure that you keep working both sides and you will get through it. Nice. Excellent. 